Reach for the speed, reach for the whistle, go where the rail may run. Reach for the words, reach for the story, follow the rainbow sun. To a shining time station, where dreams can come true, waiting there for you. Well, thanks for the help on this model, Mr. C. Without your help, I never would have got to those tiny little bolts inside there. My pleasure, Billy. I got the whistle working. Listen. <gasps> oh, it's beautiful! The New York Central Hudson. Boy, they don't make them like that anymore. Mm -mm. Billy, were all the engines alike in the old days? Nope. Nope, some of them might look alike, but each one of these engines were always oh, different as the people that made them. That's what I like about those old engines. Even the ones built in the same shop were different. I mean, the smoke boxes might be a little higher, you know, or a little shorter than the others. Steam pipes are slightly different angles. But you know the one way to tell one engine from another? The sound of the whistle. No two whistles are exactly the same pitch. Each one has a slightly different sound. Sort of like people, isn't it? I mean, we all are just slightly different from one another. I've been working on something, too. I made a frame for this picture as a favor to Mr. King. Oh, that's a pretty familiar face. <laughs> I recognize it. I know who it is, but the name escapes me. It's you, Mr. Conductor. I mean, you're a double. <laughs> Don't remind me. Oh, that was some <laughs> adventure. <laughs> that double was trouble, all right. We should have never played with your magic sparkle dust, Mr. Conductor. Hey, let's sprinkle it on Mr. Conductor's picture. That way I'll look even more like him. Yeah. There. Wow. Hello, Mr. Conductor. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, let's clean up for the inspection. Yeah. Conductor's double, I think it's time to start some trouble. Everyone thinks he's nice and kind, but I'll be mean and change their mind. Then he'll leave and I can stay, and nobody here can get in my way. Who would have thought the picture would come to life? Boy, it sure made a mess of things, didn't it? Yikes! Oh, what happened? He just walked into Billy's workshop and a ton of paper fell on us. Good thing you outsmarted him. I never outsmarted myself before. I never knew I was that smart. That cutout fits my outline perfectly. It won't fit yours. Will too. Will not. Will too. Be my guest. See that I'm you. Then you'll know that it's true. Gotcha. Reminds me, Mr. King is coming over later to pick up his picture, and Kara and I have some unfinished business to take care of. See you later. Careful with that picture of what's his name. What unfinished business, Stacy? Didn't I do a good job? Oh, Kara, you did a wonderful job, but look at this mess you forgot to clean up. Well, can't I clean it later? It's already later, Kara. Mr. King is going to be here very soon. Who's the candy for? Oh, I got it for Mr. King. I thought he'd like it when he got here. Can I have some now? Well, you clean up that mess, and we'll talk about it later. I don't know why I have to do all the work around here. It's not fair. Hey, you missed one. Oh. Looks like you missed a lot of them. Well, now I have to do it all over again. Ah, cleanliness. And it's really next to schemeliness. And one can't be too clean, and one can't be too much like schemer. <laughs> and I'm certainly doing my part to keep Shining Time Station clean, which is more than I can say for some people around here. Here you go. Missed another one. Oh, that schemer. He thinks he's so funny. 
It is funny, now that you mention it. I don't think so, Mr. Conductor. Not one bit. Oh? Well, just give a listen. <phone rings> Sounds funny to me. Doesn't it sound funny to you? Oh, I thought you were talking about Schemer. He was making fun of the mess I made. Oh, I see. Well, once it's clean, he'll stop. I have an idea. Why don't you help me clean the mess with your magic? I'd be glad to. Oh, thank you. If only Stacy asked me to, but she didn't. She asked you. I know, but... Stacy knows what's best. She doesn't know what's best, not always. This time, I think she does. <phone rings> Definitely out of tune. I must get it fixed. If I hurry, I'll be able to catch Miss Early Bird before breakfast. She's a robin, you know, and they get up early. She's the best whistle tuner in the business, and she's cheap. Get it? Cheap? But, Mr. Conductor... My whistle will soon be good as new. Yes! Ah, oh, it's good to be free. Thank you, dear child. Now I can continue to do things quite wild. You have to promise to help me, or I'll tell on you. Tell on me, oh fie, oh fee. What do you want, one wish or three? I just want you to clean the mess I made. Then you have to go back inside the picture. Clean your mess, is that what you ask? And then return right after the task? What's in it for me? Might I ask if I may? If I do help you, won't you let me play? No, you have to go back. If that's what you wish, I'll do it, my dear. But first, you should see if the coast it is clear. OK, now don't go away. Go away, don't you fear. I like it, I do. I like it right here. Now that I'm out, I'm staying this way. They won't trick me again. I'm here to stay. The trouble I'll cause, trouble galore. And then when I'm done, I'll make even more. The first thing I'll do is empty this place. Then, Mr. Conductor, we meet face to face. I'll force you to lie down, and that picture I will. I'll use tricks and magic, and your role I will fill. It's all clear. Thank you. Now you have to go back inside the picture. Oh, there's plenty of time. Please let me stay just a little while longer. I have one trick to play. No, not a trick. You promised. Oh, Schemer, that cad. He teased you, I know. Get rid of him now. Don't you want him to go? I do, but... Distract him, okay, while I send him away. Well, just this once, and then you have to go back. Oh, good work. Almost as good as me. <gasps> it is now nickel counting time. I love my nickels and they love me, dot, dot, etc. indefinitely. Schemer, I'm glad you're here. No, thank you. I do not need any help counting my nickels. No, it's not that. I just thought I saw a bat up on the ceiling. A baseball bat on the ceiling? Yeah. Not a baseball bat, a flying bat. A flying bat? Yeah, you see him right there. <gasps> that sheet. Yeah. Oh, I shouldn't have let my mommy borrow my umbrella. I don't like bats. Hey, where'd it go? It's right over there. Oh, yeah, didn't it just move? If he wants some nickels for fun, then I'll give him a giant one. Hey, what's that sound? Oh, I thought bats were supposed to make some kind of squeaky kind of sound. Well, that's definitely not a bat sound. Oh, oh, holy bat noise, what was that? Schemer, watch out! Oh, that's a monster nickel! <laughs> <laughs> What's fun? Did you see him run? Did you see what I saw? I don't know. Tex, did you see what he saw? I didn't see nothing, Rex. I heard something, though. Sounded like thunder to me. A giant nickel. And I want it. I want it! <laughs> Prepare the elevator! Oh, Tito's finally gone and done it, boys. Flipped his lid. It's the king of all nickels, and I want it! Candy is dandy, but never to eat. Candy is dandy for smashing with feet. Hmm. 
Mr. Double. Mr. Conductor Stubble. Where is he? Oh, you have to go back now. You promised. I won't go back. Not this time. A broken promise is not a crime. Well, then I'll tell on you. Tell. Go ahead. They'll just get angry and send you to bed. You, you're terrible. Thank you. I know. I'm a terrible pest. Wait till you see what I do to the rest. Ho, ho, hee, hee. You set me free. Now I'm taking over. Wait and see. Kara, this is wonderful. I have never seen the station this clean. Come on. Let's go have some candy, huh? I think I'll have just one. Oh, help yourself. Oh, my goodness, they're all smashed. Doesn't that take the cake? Luckily, I kept the bill. Here, let's have one from the other box. Here you go. Yuck! Uh, oh! This isn't chocolate, it's cream spinach. Oh, who could have done this? <laughs> Did you see Schemer around the chocolates today? Uh, Stacy, you know that picture of Mr. Conductor's double? Yes, yes, well, it's fine it's... right where it is. Here, listen, you take both these boxes back to Mr. Winslow's store, and you tell him we want two fresh boxes, and you just check them first, okay? But, but the double, he's making trouble. Yes, it'll be double trouble if Mr. Winslow doesn't exchange both boxes, and if he doesn't, you tell him to call me. What kind of business is he running? Cream spinach and smashed chocolates. Oh, my goodness. Hello, Shining Time Station. Stacy Jones speaking. Oh, yes, Mr. King. Uh, uh, oh, 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 could you say that again, Mr. King? Leaky Park is leaking. It's from there that I'm speaking. You and Billy come faster than fast. Hurry! Hurry! Or this station won't last. Yes, Mr. King, that's what I thought you said. We'll be right over. I wonder why Mr. King is rhyming all his words. Oh, I hope he's not taking another songwriting course again. Billy! Billy! Oh. Yeah, we have to catch the next train to Leaky Park. Don't worry about this. We'll clean it up later. Leaky Park. Ah, hooray! That's all of them away. Now, Mr. Conductor, my dear charming double, you're in for some very terrible trouble. When I trap you in there, you'll be gone in thin air. Ha-ha! No Master Nickel is gonna drive me from my arcade! All right, Monster Nickel, I know you're here. I know why you come to destroy me as well. To destroy me so you can rescue your little nickel buddies from the arcade. Well, it won't work. I want you to come out with your heads up. You are doing battle now with... <laughs> Sir Schemalot. Curses and drat. I'd not planned on that. I'll fix that buffoon. I'll play a sad tune. Play me a song with a sob and a sigh, so Schema will sniffle and blubber and cry. <laughs> uh, I'm feeling kind of blue. Oh, I hate to see a grown man cry, Dad. Oh, then we best sing something quick, Rex. <laughs> yeah. 